A local grandmother is speaking out after she was brutally beaten and kidnapped. Tonight also there is an arrest. 83-year-old Margaret Weber told police she was jumped by two men in her driveway. She says they grabbed her and threw her into the trunk of a car. But that's only the beginning of her survival story. And right now this man, 19-year-old Mario Wood, is in jail in Duval County. Detectives in Jacksonville arrested him in an early morning raid. First Coast News' Kyle Meenan is on this story tonight. Kyle, Mrs. Weber, wow, she has really incredible strength. Incredible strength and incredible faith in God. She was in the trunk of that car at one point, talking to God, prepared to meet him, but she has survived this miraculous event. One month ago, 83-year-old Margaret Weber was coming home from a night church service when two men grabbed her, beat her, and threw her in the trunk of their car. And this is where the lock of the trunk came down on my leg. I wouldn't get in, so they slammed the trunk on my leg. As the car drove off, she didn't kick or scream or cry, but she did pray. I said, God, you said you'd be with us, and I guess you're in this trunk with me. When they eventually pulled over, they cracked the trunk, holding her bank cards, demanding her PIN number. I don't have a PIN number. I don't use ATMs. This is what they did then. Smacks me right in the eyeball. That's when I got that first one. They slammed the trunk closed and drove on, but would pull over and beat this grandmother again. Now, how do you get money out? I don't usually take money out. I write checks to pay my bills. I'll write you a check. Give me my checkbook, I'll write you a check. That's when he hit me in the chin. They took three rings and two bracelets. Get my hands all black and blue, and they pulled the rings off. The men drove off again, eventually giving up and dumping Margaret in a cemetery. Injured badly, she couldn't stand, but crawled her way hundreds of feet to the road and to safety. Her exterior wounds have healed, but inside... I'm okay till I have to come home at night. I'm a little skittish. And she is grateful police have made an arrest. As far as I know, they know who the other one is. They just don't have enough evidence on him. But he participated in putting me in the trunk and taking me out. Remarkable strength on her. Now, that attack happened on a Thursday night on Sunday. She walked back into her church to the horror of many around her, seeing that beating and the swelling. She said, look, if I survived enough to crawl out of a cemetery, I'm going to walk into church. A woman of amazing faith and strength. Reporting at the jail, I'm Kyle Meenan, First Coast News, your news leader. Thank you, Kyle. Now, as you heard there, police are looking for the second person who attacked Weber. So if you can shed any light on this and help police, you can anonymously call our partner, First Coast Crime Stoppers, and the telephone number is 1-866-845-TIPS.